Welcome everyone, Questine here on Serious Gaming with the prologue campaign for Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2. This is still in beta, so there is some stuff they have to work on. I think performance is actually the big one. Performance is all over the board. But anyway, we have the Battle of Cadia, more like the Fall of Cadia during the 13th Black Crusade. Which has pushed the cannon forward. Anyway. And then you have uh, the Imperium campaign for the Emperor. The far-flying Imperium was uh, of man only knows war for survival, assailed by traitors, treacherous Enos, and done carrying galactic wastes. Humanity battles on as the Emperor's light glo grows ever darker. The Cadian Gate stands besieged by abominations from within the Eye of Terror. It falls to Admiral Spire, hero of the Gothic War, to marshal the Imperium's scattered fleets and hold the line against the horrors of chaos. You need to be the prologue to play the campaigns, but you don't have it in the beta. Then you have the Necron campaign, the Awakening, stern, stirred from their long, uh, aeon-long slumber, the undying Necrons come to claim anew the galaxy they once dominated. With their territories, while they're, yeah, what? With their territories awash with warring primitives or assailed by the currents of the otherworldly warp, the legions of the Neferu dynasty will have to prove their technological supremacy once more, if they seek to establish their dominion once more. They have... Necrons can use uh, Dolman gates to uh, swiftly move from uh, between distant locations. All Dolman gates are linked together so, as if they are connected by uh, safe routes. So Necron fleets can come, uh, can move from any system with a gate to another one at the cost of one movement point. So they can move very, very quickly. Then you have Terrence, the Great Devourer. Feed the Great Devourer. Driven by hunger without end, the Terranid High fleets enroach the Imperium from beyond the Galactic Rim. Now they are drawn to the embattled worlds of the Cadian Gate. Terror is the Terranid's harbinger, and desolation their gift. They cannot be bargained or reasoned with, they can only be destroyed. So it seems that the Terranid campaign would probably be the most complex one, in a sense. Difficulty uh, increases, so for instance, on hard difficulty enemy fleets uh, increase in value by 10%, on uh, epic difficulty the fair level of each faction in every sector is increased by 1 and enemy fleet's value is by 20%. Terrans also have planet assimilation. Upon defeating and capturing an enemy system, Terranids reduce all living matter into a thick nu nutrient rich gruel called biomass. Terrafor transforming a planet into biomass usually takes multiple weeks and months before it can be fully consumed. After the biomass extraction, the planet is considered devoured and no longer provide biomass, forcing the, the high fleet to expand through the stars. They have vanguard forces. Terranids can use resources to deploy Terranid presences on enemy systems. They will evolve on over turns into Shadow of Dwarf, Gene Stealer Court, Gene Stealer Patriot Call, Vanguard Fleet, and Infested Space Hulk. Defensive structure, the Terran player may use the following structures to defend their control systems. Reclamation Pool, Spore, Mines Clouds, uh, Synaptic Tendrils, uh, Nexus, or Hatch World. Okay. Let's go for Kadia yeah, anyway. For 10,000 years, the Eye of Terror has spewed its ageless horrors into the galaxy, gnawing at the eternal glories of the Imperium, at the very soul of mankind itself. And for every one of those 10,000 years, the fortress world of Cadia has held the gate closed. An adamantium bastion, granted strength by flesh and bone, and seeded purpose by faith in the Emperor's holy light. But as the darkness grew ever deeper, 
and the blaze of the Astronomicon guttered like a wind-blown candle. The Eye of Terror pulsed, its baleful energy spilling anew across the stars. With a shriek that echoed through nightmares from Medusa to Ultramar, the Black Fleet slipped its moorings. An endless tide of heretics, traitors, demons, and madmen, whose desperate fealty was given over to a single damned soul. Abaddon the Despoiler, inheritor of the arch-traitor Horus's reviled legacy, the 13th Black Crusade, herald to a fresh age of nightmare, had begun. Stalwart Cadia would be the first to feel its wrath. A Blackstone fortress! Without our shields, that accursed Hulk will scour Cadia clean! Repairs to the Null Array are underway. We require only a matter of days. The Magos asks for time. I have none to give. My wolves will buy all that he needs. Alert my battle barge to prepare for my arrival. By the Fang, I'll not die without a fight. So We're ready for verification protocol, my lord. Mm -hmm. Awaiting structural diagnostic. So they have the narrator from Battlefield 1 in this one. Not bad. Alright, camera zoom. This is a battle barge, Mark 1. Space Wolves chapter. Structural analysis complete. No major issues to report. We stand ready for weapons inspection. Okay. Can zoom in. Yeah, I wish they had made the ships bigger. To be honest. Because these ships are quite gigantic. All when I mean gigantic... Beginning tactical sweep. When I mean gigantic, I mean in the sense that the escort vessels probably are about the same size as Star Destroyers in Star Wars. Just an idea. Alright, objective complete. That's the first. I don't know what this whole thing is, if I'm quite honest. I really don't know what this environment is. I mean, we're in Cadia, yes, but what the hell is this? Look at it, it's gigantic. Enormous would be putting a mildly. Engines in Cadia! My roost beard, what's taking so long? War calls! Enough with the tinkering! Let's go. All report ready, Lord. The Fireman's Fang stands ready for battle. Mm -hmm. At last! Crew of the Fireman's Fang! The despoiler's jaws clamp tight about Cadia's throat. His Blackstone Fortress comes to claim the kill. I say nay. Not while the sons of Rus have strength to fight. The Valiant sure. Dead will shield us from the Black Fleet's curse. We will stalk the will of eternity from amongst the carcasses of its victims. When our fangs are at its belly, we strike with every boarding torpedo and assault craft at our disposal. We will cripple that Blackstone Fortress however we can. Weapons, shields, engines. All Father willing, we will tear out its corrupted heart. All right, then. Underway. Let's the keep Blackstone going. Fortress is so close, I can smell it. We'll have to cross that minefield to reach it. Take us through, Captain. Moving to position. Let's keep going, then. So, where we, so we need to reach that point. Ooh, quite a few mines over here. Hold course. Enemies. Lots of enemies. We cannot waste time in fruitless battle. Press on. Like cruiser, battle cruiser. Two battle cruisers. Cruisers. To where we are needed. 
Yeah. They're rushing through those mines. Foolishly, I must say. Engines engaged! Ooh, this is bad. Oh, I'm sorry. They're gaining. Contact Cajun Orbital Command. Tell them to detonate the mines. That explosion should clean our tails of these traitors. Aye, my lord. Could possibly dance them around. Don't worry. Suspending tactical cogitation. They did take a lot of damage there. But they also have taken my shields. Chaos is really annoying at range. Underway. Okay. Come on. Yeah, so effects seem to cause plenty of performance uh, issues, but I don't really know what... Yeah, I'm gonna switch that out. Um, I don't really know what effect, uh, what really does affect them. Like, there's nothing like post-processing or anything like that to really tackle. <laughs> Swifter than they deserved. If only we'd had the time to make it painful. My lord, all specs have shown why traitor vessel survived the explosion. It has launched a disruption bomb. It'll obliterate our shields. All sections, prepare for high energy turn. Helm, get us clear of the detonation horizon and bring us about to engage that spineless car. Suspending tactical cogitators. All right, space wolves. At your command. Battle barge versus whatever they ah, have. So the traitor longs for death. Bring us in close. I want to smell his fear. Okay then. All right. Uh, identification status: stealth detected. Identified. All right. Repositioning. I'm going to target the weapons. Yeah, priority. Fire at will. I want them blooded before we seek their throat. So I have a torpedo launcher, bombat cannon turret. Old course. Blanch bay, which I can't Obliterate use. Obliterate that target. His shield falls. Let us test the thickness of his hide. At your command. That's not too good for them. Engines engaged. Underway. Done. Moving to position. You'll see what I'm doing in just a second. His eyes are blinded. His fangs gone. We'll settle this with our teeth at his throat. To where we are needed. All right. Engines Lightning strike. Engaged. Repositioning. See how his strength fails. The kill comes soon. Moving to position. Ready boarding torpedoes. Hold course. Underway. At your command. Our boarding torpedoes destroyed by turret fire. So the traitor still has claws. Bring us in closer. I'll end this myself. Engines engaged. Initiate targeting protocols. Hold course. Underway. Our hunt is ended. Let the carcass drift. The greater quarry yet remains. Okay then. To where we are needed. Let's keep going. So that was a light cruiser. Uh, yeah, not the difficult one. Yeah, it's two launch bays, two triple 
barrel heavy macro turrets. Not really great. And keep in mind, Space Marines are masters of boarding. Repositioning. I know but their ships most are not. Of you are not Fenris born. But today it matters not if you feel the fury of Rus in your veins. It matters not if you hail from Fenris, Mundus Pyra, Kaja, or Marsh. Today we are brothers, bound by one single glorious purpose. We ride into death with the fury of heroes, and by our sacrifice, strike a blow worthy of saga and song. For the Emperor, for Kaidia, death to the traitors. The moment arrives. Let the engines roar. My lord, we have located an Imperial warship. It's drifting, and the crew are not responding. However, more specs have shown that the vessel itself remains viable. We'll claim the vessel as our own. Reinforcements run thin, and even one ship may yet make a difference. Moving to position! My lord, our boarding parties have seized command of the derelict. They report critical damage to weapons control. It won't be of any use to us. Still, it shall not go to waste. Evacuate the ship to Cadia. Its fury will be heard in days to come. Like, it's really weird. Performance across the board should be good, but it's not. Like, this is... Right, it's pretty good here, but it does go down by quite a bit. Engines anyway. engaged, Ooh. my lord. We have enemy vessels on approach. To where Let's we go, are then. needed. At your command. Worth pointing out, that's the bombardment cannon turret. I need to get the macro batteries in range. Hold course. Underway. Feel our might. Repositioning. Moving to position. Hold course. To where we are needed. Alright, Raider is destroyed. Ten thousand years of hate and still feeble at heart. Bring us about. The Blackstone yeah. Fortress awaits. My lord, Horspexes have detected a colossal signature at extreme range. It must be the Blackstone Fortress. It's on an inbound heading. Good. We'll wait an ambush. Bring us about into that asteroid field and cut the drive. Make us look like one more drifting hulk. Underway! At your command! Alright, gonna throw it in. Disengaging a ship allows you to prevent this, its destruction in battle. However, performing a warp jump is risky. The ship may suffer damage or even be destroyed. Underway! Now, asteroids do damage. It's. Moving to position! For a whole. Hold course. Okay. Engines engaged. My lord, the Blackstone Fortress is almost upon us. Hold your nerve. The closer it comes before we reveal ourselves, the greater our chances of success. Two 
soon. We stand revealed. All power to engines, and let us hope it is the All Father's will that we make it in time. To where we are needed. That is impossible. Well, we did damage it, or rather, they damaged themselves with uh, reinforcements coming in. Sven Bloodhow, stalwart of a brotherhood famed for their courage. But sometimes, courage is not enough. Initialization failed. Null array inert. Insufficient power. Insufficient power. Rerouting. Reroute failed. Power surge. Processing. No data. Power building. Null array deploying. bravery of Sven Bloodhow, nor the labors of Magus clan, but through the intercession of a mysterious benefactor. But the respite was short-lived, as the cheers faded, traitor warships blackened the skies. The siege of Cadia Secundus had begun. The forces of the Despoiler came in numbers uncounted, but the walls of Casa Krath held. Even in that darkest of days, the flame of humanity's valor burned bright. With faith burning in their hearts, the defenders held the Chaos Hordes at bay, uncaring of the losses they bore in exchange. But flesh fails and faith flickers. With every bloody moment, Abaddon's forces drew closer to victory. Not so easy, though, I imagine. Alright. So, Cadia is about to fall. Eldar are immune to solar eruptions, making them even deadlier when this event take pl takes place. You mean Eldar? We need the location of yep. Abaddon's main fleet before we strike. Mm -hmm. Admiral Harbridge, lead a reconnaissance patrol. Be our eyes. Gladly, Captain Garrodin. We can't proceed until those defense platforms are destroyed. Okay, what do I have over here? Light cruisers by the looks of it. Defiance. Two defiance, so carriers basically. And a dauntless mark too. Okay. Deploy over there. All vessels engage drives. Okay. Changing course! Rig our light cruisers for silent running. We'll let our bombers handle this. Mm-hmm. There we go. Going silent! Bring us into position, Captain. Wait. Heading acknowledged. <laughs> Does he have Admiral twice in his name? Understood. Eight. So we've got two carriers and uh, one light course brawler. And torpedoes on it. That's Kadia right there. And it's, well, surrounded. What the flying fuck is that over there? 
Changing course. Right, Starhawk stop. bombers to launch condition. Relaying target coordinates. Yeah. Our Admiral, Admiral, clearly. Impossible, Admiral. Wait. Oh, wrong one. Starhawks loaded and sent. That should destroy it. All weapons fire at will. Bombers incoming. I mean, the bombers are about the right size. The ships, however, are too... Small. Enemy defense platform destroyed. Coordinates acknowledged. Okay, oh. Cruising speed set. Engaging target. Let's keep going. Cruising speed set. Understood. Your orders? We wait your command. Engaging engines! Engaging engines! We serve! Course engaged! Your orders? Changing course! Setting course! Ship ready! Heading acknowledged. Underway. Aye, Admiral. Changing course. So they had time to call for reinforcements. Prepare to engage. None shall escape. Heading acknowledged. Ship ready. Coordinates acknowledged. Shark assault boats on their way. Coordinates acknowledged. We should evaluate the situation. We cannot risk a foolhardy engagement. First, we'll grant all ship's captains full autonomy to maneuver. We wait your command. No, right? That does it. Now. Designate priority target. Destroy it then. Finally, we'll focus fire on the target's weapon systems to reduce their firepower. Unleash the Emperor's Fury. All sections to battle stations. Blow those abominations apart. We serve. Heading acknowledged. Cruising speed set. Your orders? Understood. We wait your command. Heading acknowledged. Aye, Admiral. We serve. Your orders? Understood. Aye, Admiral. Engaging engines. Coordinates acknowledged. Aye, Admiral. Coordinates acknowledged. Understood. Your orders? Force engaged. All right, we just need to take down this we one. Serve. Not the Course problem. Engaged. Just a basic tutorial, right? Three light Ship cruisers ready. against two. 
the only reason I didn't keep going even harder on it is because I want to save uh, my bombers. Ship ready. Salt boats. Engaging engines. So apparently they did replenish themselves. So. Starhawks loaded and set. Take it down. Ship ready. We wait your command. Setting course. Underway. We serve. Additional traitors on all specs. All vessels regroup. We wait your command. Admiral, the crew are revolting. A mutiny is underway. Your excuses do not concern me, Captain. Crush the mutineers and bring your ship into the fight. Am I understood? Aye, Admiral. Setting course. Aye, Admiral. Changing course. We serve. We serve. Coordinates acknowledged. Underway. Okay, I'll use the rally command. Your orders? Just need to get closer. Come on. Ship ready. Well, you're slow as shit. Course engaged. Understood. Okay, fuck it. My lord, the mutiny has been contained. Morale is ebbing, but we stand ready to fight. At last. Now, seize this precious chance at redemption. For you and for your crew. Duty and death await. Heading acknowledged. Your orders? Changing course. We wait your command. Impossible, Admiral. We serve. Engaging engines. Aye, Admiral. Setting course. Changing course. Your orders? Coordinates acknowledged. Lightning strike successful. Understood. Well, we've been destroying light cruisers in uh, the sports. Setting course. All right, almost we done. Serve. Changing course. Almost. Your well, orders. it is a carrier and they can use their shit. Setting course. Understood. We serve. Underway. Ship ready. Setting course. Ship ready. Engaging engines. More chaos vessels inbound. Emperor's teeth. If failure is to be my fate, I'll face it with the Emperor's light in my eyes. This is Admiral Harbride to all vessels. We fight to the death. Heading acknowledged. We wait your command. Coordinates acknowledged. Aye, Admiral. Changing course. We wait your command. Ship ready. Your orders? We wait your command. Boarding teams have crippled the enemy. Underway. 
Brace for impact! Course engaged. Maximum burn! Get the hell out of there, you tiny little ships. You have no chance against this many. Admiral, this oh. would appear to be the Despoiler's main fleet. All specs readings confirm the presence of a Blackstone fortress. We need to get Signal the flying the fuck. Our mission ends in oh. success, but our duty abides. Coordinates acknowledged. Aye, Admiral. Engaging engines. Well, there it is, the Blackstone Fortress, along with several cruisers. Thirty seconds. We wait your command. We need to go. Heading acknowledged. Impossible, Admiral. Take it down. Heading acknowledged. Twenty Course seconds. Course engaged. Course engaged. I'll lead them on Understood. a merry chase. Four seconds. We serve. Incoming transmission from Phalanx. You've done your part, Admiral. I hereby take command of this engagement. We'll give that Blackstone Fortress an opponent worthy of its size. Underway! We serve! Commodore Truvo, what is our status? Estimates are still formulating, but we confirm the Sanctus Malefic, the Apocalyptia, the Vengeful Spirit. Emperor, shield us, but we're staring at half of the Black Fleet. Maybe more. Understood. And Cadia itself? Preliminary scans and Vox Chatter confirm fighting on all continents. The greatest concentration appears to be at Casa Kraf on Cadia Secundus. The Herald of Absolution is inbound with our Adeptus Sororitas allies. Good. Remind all Storm Talon squadrons that Celestine must make planet for. All other concerns are secondary. Confirmed. Captain, there's a Blackstone Fortress in near orbit. Tentatively identified as the Will of Eternity. Vox Chatter confirms the Fire Main's Fang has already failed to bring it to ruin. Indeed, a rare failure from the Sons of Roos. The so-called saint was correct. These are dark days indeed. Your orders? As they always are in dark days, Commodore. We bring the Emperor's fire and burn away the darkness. Prepare for battle. Setting course! All ahead full! Brace for impact! We have inbound. Vanguard vessels closing fast. Brittle foes to be crushed beneath the Phalanx's good right arm, Commodore. From their vector, they don't intend to duel with our guns, but to ram us. We must brace for impact. Sound collision alarms. All hands. Brace for impact. Resuming normal function. Ship ready. Your orders? Changing course! And there's the performance hiccups. We have visual on the will of eternity, Captain. Almost in weapons yeah. range. Yeah. Acknowledged. All crews to battle stations. Hold this course. All ahead full. Take us down into its black craw. All ahead full, aye. It seems we have their attention. Additional vessels closing on intercept course. They're closing too swiftly to evade. Let the fleas bite. The phalanx's hide is thick. Too thick for their teeth. Hold main batteries for my mm -hmm. order. Resuming normal functions. Aye, Admiral. Understood. Repositioning. At your command. Your orders? 
Hold course. Moving to position. I am not concerned about this. Your Actually, orders. I'm more concerned about trying to keep these guys alive. Starhawks loaded and set. I can actually I do it. Move. Get them the hell Underway. out of here. They're providing a useful distraction. Let's just leave it there. At your command. Here we go. We serve. Go go go. We wait your command. The Falling. Will of Eternity in primary weapons range. Mm -hmm. Unleash the Phalanx's fury. Let Abaddon know we've come for him. Obliterate the target! Blackstone Fortress shields are holding. We're barely scratching. Keep firing. We'll flay that abomination an inch at a time if we must. At your order. Victory or death. Away. Repositioning. Captain, the will of eternity's shields are down. Impossible. Confirm. Confirm. They're gone. I'll wager my right hand they have wolves loose in their belly. The fangs of Fenris bite deep. It's our turn now. Main batteries, open fire. Send that cursed hope to hell. Engines engaged. The Blackstone Fortress is coming apart. We're too close. If its reactors go critical, the phalanx will be caught in the blast. The damage. The sons of Dawn are too stubborn to die. Why should his regal daughter prove different? Gaze on the Blackstone Fortress's death, Commodore. Gaze, and rejoice for service fulfilled. One of our ships is gone, sir. Archmagos, your reputation precedes you, but you choose a bleak time to come to Cadia. Bleaker than you know. My adepts uncovered pylons on Ariad's ships. They are a perfect match for those present on Cadia, but were reduced to null during the Fourth Black Crusade. Abaddon. His malice holds greater purpose than we knew. Agreed. Ruined pylon fields have been discovered on many worlds, all unmade by the Despoiler. Why? Their heritage is alien, their purpose unknown. The pylons' forges remain shrouded, known only to the Omnissiah, but their purpose is revealed. They contain the Eye of Terror. If they are destroyed, the Immaterium will claim all. The Imperium will be no more. The pylons must be safeguarded. They are our only weapon against the encroachment of chaos. But I need time to study. Go, make your studies. May the Emperor guide you.
I mean you no harm. But you are an abomination. I prefer honored guest. But abomination or not, you and I have common cause. Logic dictates otherwise. Then you don't seek to understand the nature of this matrix. You comprehend its secrets? I was there when they first awakened. Or perhaps I wasn't. Memory is such a fickle thing. Neither of us desires to see this galaxy ripped asunder by the Imperial ones. Destroy me if you wish. Nothing will change. For me. For you. For this world. Show me. Admiral, this is madness. Entering real space so close to a planet, you'll doom us all. A good officer commands without doubt, and obeys without question. Entering real space in three, two, one. Blessed Emperor, we're in the heart of the fight. This is Admiral Catalia to Battlegroup Silver Dawn. Form up. Incoming enemy squadrons! Race for impact! We've lost the purity blade! Silver Dawn to Cadian High Command. Where do you need us? This battle is lost! We must disengage! Coward! Commissar! Do your duty! As the Emperor wills! Incoming transmission! Phalanx to Silver Dawn. This is Commodore Chauveau. Situation critical. Chaos forces have launched a full-scale planet strike. They aim to destroy the pylons of the Elysian fields. They must not succeed. Reinforce the position. The Phalanx will cover your back. Remain vigilant. We have reports that the Despoiler leads the assault. The Emperor protects. The Emperor protects. Silver Dawn, this is the Admiral. All ahead full. Auspex readings indicate unusual energy signatures at the Elysium fields. Explain. I need more. By the Emperor! Omnissiah's grace. This is beyond my experience. Analyzing. Hurry! What are we looking at? Analyzing complete. The pylons. The energy beam is repelling the Eye of Terror. How is that possible? No matter. Our duty remains. Prepare for planet strike. Incoming transmission! It's the Phalanx! The Despoiler has retreated to the Vengeful Spirit to lick his wounds. We cannot let this opportunity slip away. All vessels, engage the Vengeful Spirit. For the salvation of mankind and vengeance long due, we will destroy this abomination once and for all. This is Admiral Catalia to Battlegroup Silver Dawn. We have our orders, and we're closer than anyone else. Today, the Arch Traitor dies at our hands. Divert all power to weapons! Load torpedoes! We are the Emperor's fury! We shall not fail! Fire! All weapons! The Vengeful Spirit is firing, sustaining hull damage, structural breaches on all decks. No! No! Weapon system, critical, reactor, Critical. Fires reported on all decks. We are heavily damaged. Estimated crew loss. 65,000. The Vengeful Spirit intercepted our torpedoes. No significant damage. What? What have I done? My pride. My arrogance. Additional Chaos vessels inbound. Very well. 
If that is how this ends, if we are to die, let it be with the Emperor's light in our eyes and his fury in our voice. We fight on, all hands. One last effort before they overwhelm us. Make this count! Admiral, the enemy are peeling away. No. You must be mistaken. Confirmed. They are moving towards the wreckage of the Blackstone Fortress. What? What are they doing? Vox officer, transmit a wideband message to all forces on Cadia. Tell them to evacuate the planet. Now! Shit totally did hit the fan over there, didn't it? That was pretty fucking epic, wasn't it? But as I said, it's the actual campaign is not available. Not in not in this phase of the beta. Ah, that was fucking awesome actually. Warhammer at its finest, really. Well, except that foolish admiral charging in Abaddon's ship. The Gloriana class battleship, that's what it is. The Vengeful Spirit. Mm, nice. Anyway, that was the fall of Cadia. Costine here signing out. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and stay tuned for more. I'm I've barely just begun.